when uh, we speak with uh, people in Gaza, they will tell you we are not uh, living, we are surviving. We are not adapting, we are surviving. Children are the most affected in this war because children they don't have the capacity to, un to fully understand what is happening. They are losing their parents, they are losing their siblings, uh, they are losing part of their family. Many of them, they develop uh, many psychological symptoms, mainly uh, related to, to the trauma of what they are living. But the fact that they don't have anyone to, to seek for comfort, this is making even, uh, even worse. Children usually with the plane, they are able to express themselves. I saw many, many children on the street trying to to create some toys. Uh, they were uh, like looking inside the, the trash, finding something to create a small kite, uh, to make this kite uh, flying uh, in the sky. They are trying actually to adapt, but uh, it's impossible in the situation they are living. There is no space, there is no space to be within them, themselves, there is no space to express. And then when we ask to, uh, them to, to draw something, they draw the, the destruction, they draw the blood, they draw the sound of the, of the drones on our head that is constantly, 24 hours. And uh, this, of course, is one of the big challenges, the fact that we still don't have a ceasefire to, to work properly with, this, uh, with our patient.